First question is from Jessica Welch 06. What are the best ways for a female to get lean and muscular arms without looking too bulky while trying to build muscle overall, especially for women with broad shoulders? All right. So I'm going to say something that's just, it's just true. And I know some women are going to listen to this and be like, that's not true for me. Yeah, it's probably true for you. 99.9% of women who say my arms get too bulky just need to get leaner. That's just a fact. Uh, most women are not going to build arms that get huge and muscular. It just doesn't happen. What happens is women tend to store more body fat in their arms than men do, especially in the back of their arms. So anytime I've gotten a female client, it was like, no, you don't understand. I get really bulky arms. What it was is that their body fat percentage was a little too high. And when we got them leaner, they were very happy with the way that the, the muscles of their arms look. Well, thank you for mansplaining that for us. So. Oh, God. <laughs> You know you're going to leave me on this island. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, no, next by no, no, you're, you're right. Here's uh, here's the deal. Um, I when I when I would get clients like this, the 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 most challenging part was just to to get them comfortable with the fact that you actually may see the circumference in your arms go up, and you don't want that because and that by the way, this is where the lean tone. You know, marketing long muscle, yeah, long yeah. muscle bellies. The, this the, these marketing gimmicks came from because if you told a woman that she's going to build her arms when she's like, no, I don't want to build them. I want them to be firm. And well, that's what you have to do if if you want tight, firm, lean, tone arms. You've got to build muscle. And build if you first focus on building muscle before you do what you're saying, Sal, which is get really lean then the inevitable is going to happen. The circumference of the arms are probably going to get bigger. and But that's okay because if we build muscle on your arms or anywhere on your body, you're going to speed your metabolism up, which is going to help you lose body fat and get leaner. So I would have to just get my female clients that wanted to obtain this look that, hey, listen, just you got to trust the process with me that right now, we're going we're gonna to increase calories. We're going to build muscle. You might feel your pants fill out a little bit. You might feel your arms fill out and your shirts a little bit, but trust the process. If that happens, then I know you're building muscle because we're eating good and all, we're, I have you a little bit in a surplus, but we're going to speed this metabolism up. And then when I cut you down and we lean out, those arms are going to get sculpted just yeah. like you want. And they're going to look like that, but you got to trust the process. Lean, type, sharp defined muscle okay like it's just different words yeah. like that's all yeah all it is is, is a, a complete marketing thing with that but uh, it's just the same process applies and it's it, it seems like it's different because yes a bit a little bit different chemistry but in terms of the actual training and the methods and and um you know using nutrition being in a deficit where we can uh, reduce body fat like all that applies yeah, yeah. i mean i mean look again, nine out of 10 times women who think their arms are too big, it's just their body fat percentage is a little too high. It's very, very rare that well, you find a woman that builds actually big, massive Here's what's muscles tough though, Sal. Arms. Here's what's tough though, is their, their, their body fat percentage is high and their calorie intake is low. And so it, it puts a trainer or a coach in this weird predicament. I mean, Katrina is literally helping a good girlfriend of hers and I won't, I won't put her name out there or put her on blast because I think she listens. But she's been helping her out and she was eating 900 calories and she's like, I want, and she's like, I just want, and this is actually similar. She's like, I just want, I want to define, I want to define arms and maybe lose 10 or 15 pounds, but she's got, she's eating 900 calories and she does the typical cardio circuit class to lose weight, stuff like that. And so, and then she basically, you know, starves herself yeah. to lose that 10 to 15 and then it always comes back so or more the building in that. Right. So Katrina has had her, Katrina has been helping her for the last seven weeks now. And she's like, you just got to trust me. I just listen to what, I mean, just give me, give me literally a couple months of teaching you what to do and trust the process. And, and she said, it's been this grueling process because, you know, of course she's increased her calories. So she's not seeing like her weight go down. Her weight has stayed exactly the same, but she's changing. And her, she's looking at, and she's up to twenty four hundred calories. That's phenomenal. From somebody wow. who was eating nine hundred calories, she's eating twenty four hundred. She's probably calories. built muscle and lost body oh, fat. She absolutely time. had to yeah. because her her scale hasn't changed, so her her body is changing. And and Katrina's trying to remind her, like, listen, we're 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 still we still want to keep going this direction, but she totally could at this place 
cut her five, 600 calories just to mm-hmm. show her. And that would show more definition in her arms, lean her stomach out a little bit, drop a little bit of weight on the scale. But you just have to trust that process. You have to trust the process of getting to this place. But it's hard when you're in that predicament, when you're in this, I'm only eating a thousand calories a day or whatever like that. And I want to lose weight. And I also want my arms to be muscular and defined. It's like you want your cake and eat it too. And the reality is we need to go through this building process first and then we'll sculpt. I'll tell you what, yep. I'll, I'll list the body parts that, and I'm talking about the general average person or, or even more so like 90, 99% of everybody. The, the body parts that tend to develop fastest in women where they can actually build muscle to the point where I've had a few clients where we had to scale back because they were developing too much muscle in a particular area. Legs. And this is calves. Yep. Calves is number yep. one. My wife is one of these people. My wife has her, her calves. I will never get calves as muscular as my wife's, okay? Calves, number one. Second would be legs, and it's usually quads. Sometimes women can develop really big quads. Still not super common, but it's- I've it's traps before. It, women. Traps is pretty rare. It's but rare, but it, it has happened. It sticks out because they don't want big traps at all. Right. But it goes calves, legs, usually quads, um, then it goes maybe maybe shoulders and everything else is really slow developing. So what you end up with is this kind of the sculpt, muscular looking because you're lean physique, not big. You don't get big arms. It's so rare. So what does this mean in terms of training? Train to build. Train to build your arms. And then when you're you're at a point where your calories are where you can go down in calories and you're not going to go down too low, but you can cut, then you start to cut. You get lean, and then you'll get the look that you're looking for. What you don't want to do is avoid training your arms because you're afraid they're going to get too big. And what you're doing is you're 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 missing out on that metabolism boosting potential. And if you get lean without building some muscle in your arms, which is again it's minor, but without building some, you don't get that same quote unquote tone sculpt look, right? So I would not avoid training your arms for fear that you they're just got to gotta trust the process. Listen, if you're if you're in a reverse diet. Your calories are increased, which more, more more than likely your carbs are up, which means you're going to hold a little bit of water, which means you potentially could see some weight go up on the scale, which means your arms could feel look and feel fuller than what they were before you were doing all these things. Yeah. But that is all part of the process. You've got to build the muscle first. You know, you got to build that metabolism first, and then we get to a place where we we carve and we and we we chip away. But you got to trust that process. You got to, and it's a, it's a, a, a mental hurdle that you have to get over. Hundred percent. And if you don't do it, then you're you're going to be forever stuck in this trap of every time you start to build a little bit of muscle, you freak out because your arms go up a quarter so of an inch. So now you're eating nine hundred calories a day. Yeah, and then you, you go right back, and you're in the same trap. You got you have to get you have to get past this. 